Hey everybody, it's Dominic from the Primetime Treasure eBay store and YouTube channel. These two hats may look very familiar to you if you've been watching some of my haul videos. I featured these recently, picked them up for 50 cents a piece at a garage sale, flipped them today for $25. So that's obviously a great return on investment. I originally thought I might be able to get a little bit more out of each of them if I sold them separately, but when I came home and did the research on it, um, turns out one of these hats is worth more than the other. The other one doesn't tend to sell individually. So that's why I decided to just lot them together, send them out at once for 25 bucks. That works well for me. Uh, it's gonna be uh, easy to ship and they are light and they are inexpensive to ship. They go out first class even when you combine two of them together like this so they're under uh, 16 ounces or 16 ounces or less will go out first class so don't spend the money to ship these out priority you'll get them just as fast uh, using the first class shipping option so that's one initial little tip about shipping hats but I want to talk to you about a different aspect of shipping hats, which is exactly how you package them and put them together. I did do a video recently on how to display the hats so that they sell faster and closer to the price that you are asking for them. I'll link to that at the end of the video if you want to see that. So go check that out for some helpful tips and information. But what most people are going to do when they get these hats is they're going to take them and they're going to just toss them in a poly bag mailer like this. And they're just going to stick it in there and they're just going to seal it up, put the address on it, and off it goes. Easy, right? Well, it's easy, but in my opinion, this is the wrong way to do it. And I'm going to tell you why. Unlike a t-shirt, which you could easily just toss in a poly uh, bag mailer like this and send out, t-shirt's not going to get damaged unless there was something special on it or, or, or breakable on the shirt. Most shirts aren't like that. Um, you know, that would be fine with a shirt, but with a hat it's different because you have a harder structure on a hat, which is the brim. And trust me, the post office finds all sorts of ingenious ways to uh, damage products when they go through there. So if you don't pack it securely and just put it in a thin poly bag mailer, chances are that this brim could get damaged and crushed, mangled, flattened, and your buyer is going to be furious or upset when they get this in the mail. What If you follow the tips that I'm showing you, you won't have to worry about receiving a negative feedback or a neutral feedback based on how the uh, hats arrived to the buyer. However, you're significantly increases, increasing your chances of that happening if you continue or do send these items out in poly bag mailers. Okay, So let me tell you an easy way to do it. does not take much longer than this and it's just much more professional as well and your buyer will be very, very happy and leave you a really nice positive feedback so that other times when you want to sell, sell hats and prospective buyers are looking at your feedback, they're going to have added confidence buying from you. So what you want to do, if you're selling one or two hats, um, you know, two, well, like if you're doing two, just put the bigger one over the smaller one just like this. There's no need to separate them out like this. So you just put it like that. And what you're going to do is you're just going to take like a piece of tissue paper or, you know, some kind of thin... Uh, paper like this, okay? And I already have one crumpled up over here, so I'm just gonna grab that. And what you do is crumple it up into a ball. Now you might need one or two of them. For me, one is uh, sufficient here for this one. And you're just gonna put it right inside the hat so that it fills the hat out. So this will look better when it arrives to the buyer as opposed to it just being flat and smushy, nice and poofy like this, it looks much more professional. So then what you're gonna do is you are gonna take it and you're gonna put it in a little bag. Now, not a poly uh, bag mailer, you're just gonna get a little food storage bag or any other you know, bag that you, you know, could get like a little plastic bag like this, they may have laying around, and you're just gonna take the hat and you're gonna put it right inside of the food storage bag. Now this is just your regular uh, standard size food storage bag that you get uh, at the grocery store. So you just put it right in there, keep it nice and um, you know poofy like that. And then you just take the end right here and just tie it up, spin it a little bit, you could knot it up yourself with your, you know, with your fingers, uh, or you could just take a little food tie like I am right here and just put a tie around it. Okay, so there we go. This also 
helps uh, protect it just in case there was any kind of moisture or um, you know some kind of fluid or something got inside uh, the, 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 the packing box uh, that I'm going to show you in a second. This would just help protect it a little bit. All the chances that's going to happen are, are admittedly pretty low, but it still does look nice putting it in this little, um, this little bag. So this is the box that I recommend that you get. This is um, the eBay box and it is the 10 by 8 by 6. I will put a link to this down below if you want to uh, purchase these boxes. I actually just purchased a uh, uh, 50 of them for about $30. So uh, you can use, if you have an eBay store, you can use your $25 uh, credit to purchase these in lots of 25 or 50. I do recommend getting the 50 because you get a better um, bargain on them. But if you never used them before, you just want to try them out, uh, get them in the 25 version just to try it. But they are really light yet sturdy and strong. I've never had a problem with anything that I've shipped in these boxes, and I swear by them. They're awesome boxes. So you're going to take it and you're just going to take a few uh, air pillows and you're just going to put them down at the bottom. Okay. Then you're going to just take your hat right here and you're just going to lay it right on top like this. So there we go. Now I'm just going to put this up a little bit so you could see more what I'm doing and just kind of peer inside the box. So now we just have some um, you know some some spaces here that we just want to fill and that's just so it doesn't shake around too much when it's uh, you know in transport so all you do is you just take like another one of these bags just put it right in there I say bags but like you know these air pillows then you just take a few more of them like right here and just turn it around have a little spot right here that we just put it in and then I like to put one right on the top right there so that I protect the actual item. So just like that, you could even put it that way. You know, you put it that way, it doesn't really matter. And then all we're gonna do is we're gonna close it up like this and I'm just gonna get some tape. I got my three inch tape. I'm just gonna put it like that. There we go. So now what's gonna happen is when the person gets their hat in the mail, it's gonna come like this nice and light person's going to open it up they're going to see it right in that bag like that they're going to pull it out and they're going to say wow i mean they're just gonna you know just kind of simulate it right here you know they're going to get it and let's open it up you know this is going to be like the you know the buyer getting it in the mail like this you know, they're going to take these top little pieces off and they're going to take it out just like that and that's going to look really, really nice to them. You know, they're going to undo it like that, just take it right out. As opposed to something arrives in the mail smushed like a pancake like this. Which would you rather receive? Obviously, you'd rather have the one in the box. So that's the way I recommend doing it. Try it out. It's very easy, very fast, especially when you get a system down doing it. It just takes two seconds. Uh, and that's about it. So if you have any questions about this, let me know. Uh, if you like this video, make sure you hit the like button. Uh, make sure you come by my Facebook group, the Facebook Reselling Resource Center, for additional tips and suggestions regarding reselling. Um, also, make sure you subscribe to this channel. We're very close, actually, to 300 subscribers. So if you've been watching this channel and you haven't subscribed yet, please make sure you do so. I would appreciate it. That helps show support for the channel. And also, it will get you notifications that new videos are coming out. See everyone at the next video. Thanks.